Hey everyone, welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. So today we have a rear wheel drive drag build and tune for the 2000 Nissan Silvia Spec R S15. So if you enjoyed the video or find it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so first off, we're bringing the S15 up to the Festal drag strip so that you can see how fast it can get by the speed trap at the end. So pull up into the staging booths here. We're gonna launch the S15 from about 4,000 RPM. Then the trick with this car is once it gets moving, you take your finger off and then back onto the throttle really quickly to keep traction and launch here, off then back on. You can see we kept traction that whole time because otherwise the wheels will spin all the way through first gear and then second as well. And we can see by the speed trap at the end, we got a speed of 350 kilometers an hour. Okay, so now we're taking the S15 Silvia into the Fessel Drag Strip race so that we can see how fast it is against other cars as well as get a time by the end. So the same launching principles will apply here too to get the car moving and then on and off the throttle really quickly to keep traction as this is the fastest way to accelerate. You can see that we lost a little bit of traction but it wasn't as bad as just keeping your foot flat to the floor the whole time. So you can see we are easily beating everyone here and we crossed the line at about 390 kilometers an hour and we got a time of 14 seconds. All right, so now that we've seen how fast our rear wheel drive S15 is, we'll now take it into the festival and I'll show you how to upgrade and tune it. Okay, so with a stock 2000 Nissan Silvia Spec R, we're gonna come into the custom upgrade menu here. So first off, we'll come over to the conversions and in here we'll be putting in the racing three liter inline six. This is the racing version of the 2JZ. So we'll put that in there. Car's already rear wheel drive, so we're not gonna change the drivetrain, but we'll come into the aero and appearance. We're gonna take off the rear wing as that saves weight and then switch over the bonnets as we can save weight there as well. So out of aero and appearance, now into the tires and rims. We're going for the drag tire compound. Well, as we're gonna make the rear tires as wide as possible. We're not increasing the front tires as we are not using those. Then for the rim style, obviously just switch out for some lighter weight rims, but you can pick whatever you want really, as long as it saves about 14 kilos. So out of the tires, and rims we're now just going to add some spaces to the rear wheels here then that's it so now we'll come into the drivetrain so in here we're we'll putting in the race clutch then the race transmission race driveline and the race differential so add a drivetrain now into platform and handling in here we'll be doing the race brakes then the rally or off-road springs and dampeners, then race front and rear anti-roll bars, and then the race weight reduction. So out of platform and handling that into engine, it's maxing out everything in here, race fuel system, race ignition, race valves, race engine block, and then the race turbo. So that's it. All right, so now that we've upgraded our Nissan Silvia, we can now come over to the custom tuning menu over here. So first off, I'll show you the metric tune and then I'll show you the differences for the Imperial tune and I'll leave the tune code on screen now. So if you front and rear tire pressures, just bring these down to 1.0 bar. Then the gearing, we're gonna set our final drive here down to 2.74. Come a bit down to there. First gear, we'll be setting this to 2.80. So you need to slide this all the way down to there. Second gear, we're gonna set this to 2.00. Third will be set to 1.35. 
So it's come down to there. Fourth, we're gonna set this to 1.05. Then fifth will be set to 0 0.90. And you can leave sixth at 0 0.80. So next is the alignment. So for the front and rear camber angles here, we're gonna set these to zero degrees. Then the front cast angle to seven degrees. So next we've come over to the anti-roll bars. We're gonna make these as stiff as possible. So 65.0 in the front, as well as 65.0 in the rear. Now if we do the springs, in the front here, we're gonna set this to 49.5. So it's come up to there. Then in the rear, we're gonna bring this up to 41.0, just like. Then for the ride heights, we're just gonna change the front here. We're gonna lower this as much as possible down to 17.3 and leaving the rears at 21.8. So next is the dampening. We're going to set our front rebound stiffness here down to 3.2. Let's come all the way down to there. Then the rear rebound stiffness, we're also going to bring this down to 5.6. Then for your front bump stiffness, we're going to bring this up to 6.8. Come up to there. Then the rear bump stiffness is going to come all the way up to 10.7. Just come all the way up to there. So finally is the differential tab at the end. We're just gonna set our rear acceleration here up to 100%. So that's it as far as the tuning goes for the metric tune. So now I'll show you the differences for the imperial tune. Okay, so as far as differences go for the imperial tune is you want 15 PSI in both the front and rear tires of the car. Then if we come over to the springs tab here, you wanna set your front springs to 277 and the rears to 229. Then the ride heights are 6.8 in the front, 8.6 in the rear. So that's it as far as the differences go for the Imperial tune. So you can go ahead and apply all of these. All right, everyone. So this has been a drag build and tune for the 2000 Nissan Silvia Spec RS15. So if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe.